Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this CGMCU VL53LX time of flight laser distance meter to measure the distance. This is a module that has bi-directional chip on it, a little expensive, but it makes it very easy to be compatible with different uh, level of uh, logic in terms of 3.3, 1.5, 1.8, and fi even 5 volt. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is the, the VL53LX chip that measures the distance up to two meter in terms of millimeter, very precise and usually this is offered only like this on a chip but this cjmcu from ic station i believe it has uh, this uh, texas instrument chip this is the txs 108e that's 8 bit bidirectional uh, shift leveler and voltage translator which means is that you can connect this to to the logic of 3.3 1.2 1.8 2.5 volts and automatically it detects that uh, logic level and converts it accordingly. So bidirectional means it can communicate both ways when the data goes and comes back and it changes the uh, sh logic level accordingly so you don't get any error. Uh, that's why this is a little expensive and it's sold on eBay and you can also I will provide you the link to eBay and IC station that you can purchase it if you wish and we will connect this to 5 volts and here we have a regulator here which will take care of the circuit internally this VL53 L0X chip have been offered in uh, this shape on eBay you can get it this way but this one doesn't have any other uh, except the voltage regulator the same way it is it, offered with a six pin in this black color module the same thing it's just this one and a voltage regulator unlike uh, this one which has this bi-directional level shifting and voltage translator here's the data sheet for this time of flight uh, range finder and gesture detection of VL53 L0X wavelength of the laser is 940 millimeter laser and the chip size 4.4 times 2.4 times 1 millimeter the thickness is 1 millimeter and the maximum range that it can measure is up to 2 meter so keep that in mind it can be used in many applications including cell phones robotics robotics arms and computer in so many applications so it can detect the distance and also in terms of classification it says i safe and it abides by iec 60825-1 with 2014 third edition standard chip operates between 2.6 to 3.5 that's why we need to make sure that this gets 3.5 volts uh, using that voltage regulator that is there the pins are connected on the module but for us uh, to understand this is the ASCL we don't, and this is a pin that we have it on the uh, PCB it says X shutdown pin so in terms of active low so when you put it at low it will be active otherwise you will just leave it like that this pin that we uh, have it here as GPI01 has been labeled here as an interrupt. In case if your application needs an interrupt, this will be the interrupt. And this X shut, that is the X shut pen here. Second ground, you don't you don't connect it. This is do not connect SD and SCL. This is the data pen which will be connected to analog four, and that the clock will be connected to analog uh, five. And this is ground and VCC. The, these are the resistors that are needed for this pen, so th we already have them, so you don't have to worry about these. And uh, the interrupt pen, which is GPI01, should be left unconnected if not used. So this has been already uh, taken care of, uh, so, so you don't have to worry about x -shot. If you need further information, I will provide you the link for this data sheet. Here is the data sheet for the uh, bidirectional shift uh, level shifter. This is a. TXS 
0.0108E from Texas instrument. It can convert the levels between all these voltages, 1.2, 1.8, 2.5, 3.3, and 5 volts. If you want to read it further, I will provide the link for you. The module slint is 20.7 mm by 15.8 mm. The depth uh, without the header is 3.6 mm. Now let me explain the code. I will provide the link for the library. So once you download the library, then click on file, example, and then you will see it at VL53L0X and that continuous. Uh, it has two sketch. One is for single measurement. Some application need only one time. And this is the continuous that I'm opening now. This wire.h is for I square C communication. You don't have to include anything. It's part of the uh, Arduino. This is part of the library. Then from this class, we are uh, creating an instance of that. We call it sensor. And inside the setup from here to here, we are just initializing the 9600 baud serial monitor, which you go and click and open the serial monitor. And on the serial monitor, it must match this number. Wire.begin initializes the I square C communication sensor dot INIT that initializes the sensor that we have uh, uh, created there the object and then we set the timeout for some application you need to have a different timeout so you can set that 500 milli uh, second sensor dot start continuous that will initialize the module to work continuously and here this is the loop and uh, we are getting the value serial print sensor dot read range continuous millimeter so this is a value and in case if you want to use it for something else this is the actual value that prints that number if the timeout happens we just print timeout and ln just creates new line and the loop continues like that so this is the actual value in case if you're comparing it with something let's say you want to say that if uh, this uh, the distance is uh, greater than um, 250 millimeters which is to, uh, 25 centimeter then you do something here control a motor or do some action or smaller than that or any condition that you put VCC have been connected to 5 volts on Arduino the second pin is a ground the gray is connected to the ground S SDA is, is the green connected to pen A4 and then SCL the clock is connected to A5 if you are doing a half SDA and SCL here you can connect it directly and leave this pen for other purpose you will not be connecting any other pen here for this unless you want to use the entrapped or X shut for other purpose and here is a demonstration for continuous measurement I have put here the laser sensor this is exactly 100 millimeter and that is fluctuating but we are getting about 101 and 105 millimeter make it closer now let's go 70 millimeter so we are getting 74 73 as you can see it's uh, fluctuating fast let's go for around 50 millimeter and we are getting 50 millimeter let's go further and see what we can get at 30 millimeter 29 about one or two millimeters so let's put it around 20 17 or 20 so what is the closest that it can get because it needs a reflection at some point it will not be able to read so that's around one centimeter or 10 millimeters so let's go closer but here this is false value because it shows 17 millimeter Okay, less than a, uh, 10 millimeter, it, it will measure incorrectly. 
now I'm at 170 millimeters and we are getting about 5 millimeters difference Hundred seventy, hundred sixty-six. You see when I stopped it, so that is correct. Now I'm pointing this a little up towards the ceiling. As you can see, these value you're getting incorrect value because eight thousand or is um, eight uh, eight meter and it's incorrect. We are able to measure. Now I'm going to put this magnifying glass and see the effect of glass, which should not have any effect. So if I put it at some angle it makes some difference it you see at this point it reflects it somewhere else but if it's perpendicular with that uh, ray it will not have any effect so let me put it closer so we can understand it better yeah so it's not affecting it now i'm using this plastic case for some device and it shows about hundred and two hundred and five same thing no difference thank you for watching this was how to use this vl53 lx laser distance meter with this bi-directional chip uh, please uh, thumb up the video if you like it and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos